yo yo what's good it's chaos here it's been a minute since i showed y'all my cute face you know i had to bring out the full face cam for y'all i know y'all like that now nah, but in all seriousness man i'm bringing you guys a really really important video today you guys are gonna really like it everyone's gonna use it in their scheme no matter what you run if you're in some type of nickel or even dime or dollar defense like you can literally are gonna add this to your game there's no way you shouldn't be using it it's very very important but at the same time man as always i want to give you guys my spiel First, you guys have been killing it with the like button, man. The like button might be broken by now. You guys have been smashing it so much. So I'm just going to ask that you guys continue to do that. This tip is so good, man. I'm going to ask for 250 likes. I really think you guys can knock that out, and I really appreciate it. And then secondly, as always, I want to promote my ebooks for you guys just because they're so good, man. So uh, I saw my Trips Tight End ebook on offense. Very extensive. Tons of write-ups and videos. Um, and then my defense is 3 through 5 out of Big Nickel over G. Big Nickel over G is going to be able to utilize this tip today in this video perfectly. So I recommend that you guys check both those out. They're in the description below. And there's a bundle going on right now that can combine both the offense and defense to get just a little bit cheaper. So let's jump into the video, man, and show you guys this awesome tip. Okay, boys. So I'm just going to start off now um, by kind of breaking down how the video is going to go. So I'm going to start off just by showing you guys how to do the cross man from your nickel corner. Um, you can do it at a dime and dollar too, but I like it out of a nickel because it's a lot harder of a tell to see because you can't even tell if they're flipping it a lot of the time. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. 3 3 5, nickel normal, big nickel over G, all that stuff. I'll just show you how to do it. Okay, so I'll put a timestamp for that. Next, I'm going to break down all the different routes you can shut down with it, like pass sale, crossers out of trips tight end, um, posts out of trips tight end. I'll just show you guys a bunch of different things that can stop, so I'll timestamp that. And then last, I'm going to jump into a game just to show you guys a real game-like situation where you can actually set it up extremely quickly just so you guys can't be like, oh, well, um, that might take a long time to set up. No, it's very, very, very quick. So I'll do that in the last section. So I'll timestamp those. But we'll just start off. Um, I wanted to talk about hashes very quickly. So um, pretty much right above, if you look directly above this menu, like in Pat Sale, you can see the little dotted line hashes. So you can see on both sides now, I'll click on the 335. You can see the hashes on both sides so you know where they are. Just know which hash the person probably wants to be on. If they're going to run pat sale, they're going to want their bunch to be on the wide hash. So that means you'll want your nickel to be flipped so that you can cross man him on pat sale. Because if you, if you come out with him the same side as pat sale, then you obviously can't cross man him. So I'm just going to come out in the flip tier, Tampa 2. I'm going to start off in 335 and start off in pat sale. So first... You can baseline press, you can baseline do whatever. Just make sure the only important thing that you need is clicked on to your nickel corner. Now, I'm going to show you guys, if you just try to man him up, you can see his adjustments. Julio Jones is not an option. He can man up to anyone else except Julio Jones, right? Now, when I'm clicked on him and I flip it, I just hold him there real quick. I flipped it. Now you can see his blitz angle is messed up because he's supposed to be blitzing from the other side. And now when I go to man up, he can be man up to Julio Jones now. Now, after you do this, I mean, you can do whatever. You can move them down here, move them down here, do whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, now you have him manned up, and he's not going to move. So you can see I'm on Deion Jones. He's not going to move, right? You have him cross, man. Now, um, I'm going to jump into, like, nickel normal or something. Show you guys can do it out of there, too. Um, nickel normal. There we go. It doesn't have to be a blitzing guy. Like, it can be any, just any player. So I'll just do it out of Tampa 2 here just to show you that. Um, go to pass sale. Now we're in Tampa 2. Now I'll show you guys that you can baseline press. Now, when you flip your play, it actually resets your adjustments. Um, so you want to be able, like, you, what you want to do is not do anything first. So, like, if I wanted to blitz this guy, I'd have to wait till after the flip. So I'm gonna blitz these guys, and then I'm gonna flip it, and it's gonna like reset them. So. You see, it got reset. Now, um, you have to put some again. So just note, you want to do the first step, just be clicked on your nickel corner right out of the huddle. And that's why at the end of the video, I will show you guys how quickly you can do it, because it's actually extremely, extremely easy. It just seems a little bit complicated at the moment. But as you can see, we haven't crossed man out of nickel normal. You guys get the gist, man. Um, it's pretty much the same thing out of all these. So I'm not going to go into all of them. Now we're going to jump into... Uh, it's actually stopping all the different routes. So Okay, so now, as I said, we're going to jump into stopping the different routes. 
Um, as I talked about before, pay attention to your hashes. So if they're running Pat Sale, you know that they're going to want their bunch in the wide hash, which means their ISO receiver will be on the short hash. You can see the hashes here. So it's the short hash right here, and the wide hash is like right here. So you're going to want your nickel opposite of that post, right? So you know that they're going to run the bunch to the wide side. So you call Tampa 2 flipped here. Come on and Pat Sale. Now, to stop it, just baseline press, right? Click on your nickel corner, and you're going to flip it. And you're just gonna hold him here. Now you have Julio Crossmand, and uh, just so you guys can see, I'm gonna um, let's a lot of these guys just get these zones out the way, um, and uh, just kind of show you that it's gonna get bagged up. So just do a regular setup for Pat Sale here. Now I'm gonna try to click on with my other controller uh, when I throw it, just so you can see that you're gonna get an easy pick but it's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world. Um, and I end up taking a sack here. I'm gonna make sure, I'm, I'm just gonna put spies out there, that's what I'm gonna do, but um, you know, I want you guys to see here that he was literally bagged until he was sacked. Um, he's just waiting on him, he just waits on him, waits on him, waits on him, and then he just starts running with him, and he bags him, but I'm gonna spy people just to make sure I have time here, so baseline press, flip, hold him there, man up Julio. And then I'm going to spy, 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 spy. Perfect. And we'll just do a base setup for pass sale again. And I'm going to try to pass this and click on and pick it. Um, and there you go. That was perfect. Not easy to do with one hand. Uh, or with, I guess with two controllers. But you can see here, he's literally going to bag it the entire way. Um, he just sits on him and waits for it. And this is like this is probably the second best receiver in regs behind Tyree Kill. Um, he literally just bags him the whole way. And easy picks. So show it one more time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw it and pick it off this time just because it's really hard to do with one hand. Um, but I'll uh, just show that it's literally gonna be bagged here. So you see him, he's waiting on it, waiting on it, waiting on it, waiting on it. And he eventually just stops because he is bagged. Um, and uh, I'll show you that now in the replay. Like, he literally is so boxed that he just stops before he even gets to the sideline. You guys, anyone who runs pass sale knows he actually doesn't stop until, like, the sideline. You, you can always throw it. But, like, he literally is so bagged that he just stops right here. So, that's pass sale, man. You're going to lock it up with that. Um... And uh, we're going to jump into shot wheel now. So we'll jump into trips tight end. Now, with trips tight end, you have to note that um, they're, they're going to want their trips to the wide side. So I'm actually going to end up moving hashes here. You see the short hash, see the wide hash. I'm actually going to shift the ball once we get out of the huddle to the wide side. So you're going to want your nickel flipped again. Um, you're going to move it over here. Because you want your nickel opposite of the route that you want to cross man, right? So we're cross manning Y this time. Baseline press. And uh, just flip your play. And then you can man up Y, right? And I'm going to get rid of this mid read because the mid read actually would match the, the crosser sometimes. And I don't want him on there. I want you guys just to see the cross man. Um, and I'm going to try to click on here and pick this. Oh, I got sacked. All right, I'm going to spy more people. But you guys can see on the replay here, uh, it was the same exact thing as before. He was just straight boxed. He just waits on him, waits on him, waits on him, and he's boxed. There's no worry to throw it, but I'll, uh, I'll spy some people here and make it easier. So baseline press. Remember, this has to be your first adjustment flip play. Man up to the shot wheel, right? So spy, 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 spy. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to do this with one hand again. Hopefully it works out for me. Are you serious? Yo, what? Okay. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. Practice mode is crazy. Yo, I had a guy tell me last week, last week I was getting sacked in my video, so the play sucks. I'm like, yo, are you serious? I just got sacked watching one guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody's in spies. It's ridiculous, man. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this with one hand.
Oh, I press. <laughs> I pressed the pass button on my controller. Oh my gosh. I'm not. Alright, you guys don't need to see me pick it again. I mean, come on. I'll, uh, I'm showing you guys on the replay. Forget it. I don't have any buddies, no partners, no pals. Nobody can do this with me, but. I mean, come on, guys. This is freaking bad. You guys don't need to see it picked, right? Drop a like for me if you guys don't think you need to see it picked. I mean, come on. He's not even close to open. He's bagged the whole way. So. I mean. Now we're gonna go to um, counter go. I'm just gonna get this out of there, just so you can see just the crosser. Um, so yeah, baseline press. Now you wanna man up the other guy, right? So man up B. Um, now we're just gonna spy everybody again. <laughs> this game is funny. <laughs> All right, so let me try to show you guys it getting picked again here. Ah, uh, all right. Almost, almost didn't get on there, but let me show you real quick. I, I did get it. I just dropped the pick, so that's good enough. So he's cross man. He waves on him. He's bagged. You throw it. I drop the pick, but as you guys see, and I'm pretty sure that's uh, what's his name, Calvin Ridley, who's actually a very good regs receiver as well. Um, very fast, but just drop the pick. I mean, you guys were seeing his boxing literally everything right now. Um, now we'll go to another one. PA slot corner, another perfect one. Um, do this. Baseline press. Flip it, hold him. Cross man Y. Spy, 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 spy. Okay, now I'm going to try to do this again one more time. And we'll see how it works out for me. Of course. Of course, I can't click on and pick it. But, I mean, we'll do it again. Because I'll show you guys that you're not going to catch this. But this is purely a terrible read if you throw this. But he's literally bagged. Not, nowhere to go. And if I can click on, I could pick it. But I missed it. So, baseline press. Flip, mana Y. Spy, 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 spy. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. I mean, come on, let me click on. Gosh, it's ruining my video. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't wanna see this comment. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. All right. Gosh dang it, three times a charm. Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. If this is, a, if, if this is me just on one controller, it's literally a pick every time. Oh. All right, come on, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm, oh my, I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. I'm getting very angry. I'm getting very angry. Gosh, dang it, dude. Flip. I'm telling you guys, it's a pick every time. Oh. All right, seriously though. In all seriousness, let's get it. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Thank you. Holy crap, dude! So easy. So easy. They finally let me do it. Finally. Finally. I. Oh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to. All right, man. But seriously, we're gonna cut one more time here. We're gonna jump into a regular game, and I'll show you guys how quick it is and easy it is to set up. So. Okay guys, last segment of the video, I'm just going to show you guys very quickly how easy it is to set up while you're in game. So, um, I'm just going to call my play first. Obviously, you want the trips on the Y side, and as a defender, I know that, so I don't flip my Tampa 2 here. Now I'm just going to quickly baseline press, click on my nickel, flip it, and I'm good to go. I'm already, before they even came out, I'm already cross man, right? Now, I already showed you guys the route, so I'll just run the ball really quickly. Um, stay on a hash here, um, and then we'll come out. I know they're in bunch now, right? Like that's what they've been running, so they call a pat sale. And because of the hashes, I know I need to flip my tempo two here. Very quickly, baseline press, flip it, and I'm cross man. I'm good to go, right? Then um, you can do whatever you want. 
and doesn't really matter. So you guys see, I mean, it's super easy to set up. I don't need to show it anymore. I just wanted to show you guys how quick and easy it is out of the huddle. Hope you guys enjoy, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please implement this into your game because it will help you so, 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 so much. Take it easy. Peace.